Hi everyone, and welcome back to this course where we learn Fusion 360 together. In this lecture, I'm starting a new design for a robot from scratch. It's going to be a long journey of learning and fun, and I encourage you to join me. So let's get started by designing our first part of the leg. What I'm thinking here is a dog a shape robot that we can drive and build from scratch together. So here is our first part of the leg. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to design it. So let's get started. So I already have my part already designed, but we will design it again together so I can show you how I got here. But uh, let me just explain a little bit. So the leg is gonna be two parts. It's like, imagine a dog leg. This will be the bottom part. So this is the part that touches the ground over here. So this is the part that touches the ground. This is where the servo is going to sit. And this square is for uh, the servo motor. So that's the most important part that you need to get the correct sizing for this. And when I'm done with all these parts, I will leave uh, the files for free on my uh, Thingiverse. So eventually I will upload them over there. But if you want to design it yourself, which I really encourage you to do so, let's go ahead and get started with the design. Uh, let me start a new blank sheet here and add a new sketch. So we're going to use this. And here, let me start with the first square. And the size over here is, so we're just going to add a rectangular. It's going to be 12.5 by 24. That is the size I've already measured my servo. Uh, it's the SG90. That's the servo we're going to use. And after we add the first uh, rectangular here, we are going to offset this rectangular by 5. That is going to be the outer uh, layer of... Uh, so, so the middle one is going to be the hole where the servo goes in, and the other one is just the outer layer. Now, we need, um, let me just zoom in this way, and now we need to go down about 33 uh, millimeters. So uh, let me just take a line, and I'm going to do, go for the middle. You see here, this is the middle point when you see that rectangular, so I'm going to go from the middle, and we're going to go down 33. And this is, I don't really need it. I'm just going to make this a construction line because this is just to get my next circle drawn. And here, I'm going to go create a circle and I'm going to choose a two-point circle. And here is going to be the tangent point and I will go out five. And then I will offset this circle by two. So let's click offset and we will offset by two. So far, so good, right? Now we will connect these by a spline. So here's the spline tool and we will connect from here to the edge of the circle. Click enter here and we will do another one for this side. Now for this one here, we're going to curve it a little bit. So you can see I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go inside a little bit, and then I will touch over here, click enter. That looks good. Now I just need to put my tangent point for the spline. So you can see here, there is this uh, tangent. I'm gonna click that. I will choose this and the circle, and that will do it. And then I will do again for the circle and this guy. Uh, this is it for the tangent point. And now I need to draw just because you don't want this fill. So this, you don't want the whole thing to be solid. We want our part to be as light as possible so the robot can move freely. And here we're just going to make a hole. And for now, I'm just going to like draw like this. So let's just go over here. And honestly, you don't have to be exact with this because this is fine. This is just as, make it as big as you can um, without uh, obviously compromising the 
strength of the final build. Uh, there is one more thing here for the servo screws. We're going to add a couple of um, construction lines. So let's go ahead and first get the middle point. I do want to extend that line. I should have made it uh, all the way through since the beginning, but that's okay. Um, that's what we get uh, when we learn. So here's the line. This is a construction line. So I'm going to click on it. And I will make this line a construction line by clicking here. This is a construction line. Basically, I'm just going to use this line to measure things. I just need to know the middle point. Now, I'm going to offset this line, the top one, by two. So let's offset this by two. And same thing for the one bottom here, because I'm just going to draw the two holes for the screws of the servo. So this one here, I'm going to click it. I will select offset. And offset that by two. Now these are also both our construction lines, so I'm gonna select both uh, by holding the control key and mark them as construction lines. Now let's add our circles in exactly the middle here, and we will do two. So two looks good. I did measure this. Two looks good for the screw that I want to use for the servo. Uh, these are the ones that matter really. The, the measurement is the, the inside hole. This one matters a lot. And these, the placement of these two screw that we're going to use to mount the servo on. Uh, let's place our other circle over here. And that's going to be also a two. And that looks good for now. So this is good. And now I want to, uh, let's get another rectangular over here. And let's just do, let's do, how about we go from here and all the way to about two. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. This is going to allow the wire uh, to pass. So let's just do two, uh, no, not this one here. Uh, let me try again on this. I think I messed up this one. So let me just try again. I clicked escape. I'm going to do that. And now we'll just do two here. Boom. There you go. So this is our, this is going to be for, to allow the wire to pass through uh, and to allow the, serv the servo to sit in uh, comfortably. Now let me click done with the sketch. So I'm going to click finish sketch. Let's go to the home position really quick and let's start extruding. So I'm going to extrude this part, this part, and this part. Let's extrude this by five. So I'm going five up. And now I want to use fillet. Now this fillet to get this angle and this angle in. I'm going to go inside by five. Five looks good. Now um, we have this nice curve over here. Let's also apply a fillet to the upper layer over here. And let's just do two for this one. And there it is. So now we have, let me, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see we have our leg. The rest of the measurement doesn't really matter much. Like how big is this hole over here or how big is this circle here not really much how much of a curve you have on this angle i'm going to leave that up to you because again we're designing this together from scratch and i want you to experiment with it i want you to enjoy it and have fun eventually i will leave the part that i decide on uh, for free available to you on thingiverse but in the meantime i really encourage you to try it design it with me 3d print it yourself Again, it's going to be a long journey, and uh, we will have fun with this. So uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but we, all we can do is to get started. So this is the leg here. Uh, the servo should fit in the middle over here, which I will leave a picture in the thumbnail. I already 3D printed this. Uh, this is my uh, piece that I 3D printed, which is, as you can see, it's very similar. The most important here is just the placement of the holes and the servo the rest of it it's really not super important if you if you adjust by a millimeter or two there is no problem there all right before this video gets too long i'm gonna wrap it up here 
Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.